This is example 4.28 from chapter 4 from our textbook Mechanical Vibration from Rao, 6th edition. We will analyze the respond characteristics from the transverse function. And we will find the peak time, the percentage overshoot, the settling time, and the rise time from the transfer function of the system. The function fx can be expressed as fs times hs, being hs the transfer function. So we can say that xs divided by f s is equal to the transfer function. The transfer function can be expressed in terms of the characteristics of the system, which is ms squared plus cs plus k, or it can also be written in terms of omega n and zeta. That will be 1 over m and 1 over s squared plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n squared. And here we are given the transfer function. So if by observing this transfer function, we know that omega squared is 225, therefore omega n is 15 radians over second. And also observing the uh, transfer function, we can, we can see that 2 zeta omega n is equal to 15. Therefore, we can calculate zeta which gives me a value of 15 over 2 times omega n, which is 2 times 15. That gives me a value of zeta equals 0 0.5. The peak time, which is the time that is required for the response to attain the first peak of the overshoot can be calculated as pi over omega d. And remember that omega d is omega n square root of 1 minus zeta square. We input the values and we get that the peak time for this case is equals to 0 0.2418 seconds. If we graph this in the response, we see that the peak uh, time is where the response attains a maximum value. Now we calculate the percent overshoot, which is defined as 100 times e to the negative pi zeta over square root of 1 minus zeta square. And let me input the value. e to the pi, zeta is 0 0.5, square root of 1 minus zeta square. And that gives me a value of 16.30.34. And in the graph, this represents the value that is above the final settled response. So it's the peak value. And the settled time, which is that the time that the system reaches plus or minus 2% of the steady state value, will be equals to 4 over zeta omega n. I input the values and I get a settled time of 0 0.5333333. So this is 0 0.2 of the steady state response, then this will be the zero time over here. And finally, we calculate the rise time, which is defined as the time required for the system to rise from 10% of the response to 90% of the final or steady state value and the rise time gives me a value of pi minus 0 0.153399, which is alpha. And the damped frequency is 15 times square root of 1 minus zeta squared. And that gives me a value of 
0 0.2015 seconds. And in the graph, this will be the response, the time from reaching the 10% to 90% of the response. And this here will be the solution of this problem.